Visual Basic for Applications is a powerful tool that can be used for programming within Excel. There essentially you have a uh, workbook. Okay, so I'm going to draw a book here uh, with worksheets in it as well. And macros are um, kind of like extra programs that can go in and do things, okay, in this and operate on this uh, workbook or worksheets within uh, this Excel uh, document. So what we're going to do is we're going to write uh, one of these applications that operates within Excel. So the first thing to do is just open up Excel. And uh, in Excel, we're just going to create a blank workbook. And uh, the first thing you want to look for is if the developer toolbar uh, tab is available. If it isn't, just come over to File and then Options. And then um, you're going to want to customize the ribbon and just make sure that developer toolbar is selected. Okay, once that's selected, uh, what we can do is come into you know, macros, look at any macros that might be there already. Uh, we can also record a macro. So if we record a macro, we can give it a name, a shortcut key combination, uh, those types of things. So what we're going to do here is um, I'm going to have some text. Um, you know, just one, two, three, four. Okay. And uh, let's say I need to um, do the same operation to a certain cell over and over again. And I want to create a macro that can help me, um, you know, expedite this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, uh, first of all, select Use Relative References because I don't want it to always select the cell B3. I want to just select whatever cell I'm in right then and to be able to operate on that uh, cell. And then I'll record macro. And in this case, I'll just call this one uh, times um, 12. Uh, and this will be font. OK, and then uh, for my shortcut key, you can just hit um, Control, uh, Shift, and T. OK, or just in this case, just do Shift, T and it will put in that uh, shortcut key combination for you. Uh, you want to make sure it doesn't conflict with something that's already there. Control T is um, already create a table in Excel, so we'll just do uh, add the shift T uh, so it doesn't conflict with that. Okay, and we'll store it in this workbook. We could also store it in a new workbook or uh, some other location. Uh, and then I'll put a um, description change, uh, not description change, font to times, new Roman, uh, 12 point, color blue. Okay, so just a little description about what this macro is going to do. And then it's recording now, and I can do whatever I do to this cell. Okay, I'll change it to light blue. I'll change the it to Times New Roman and change it to font size 12. Okay, come back to the developer toolbar and uh, click stop recording. Okay, now it's recorded this and if I have another cell here, okay, and I do Control Shift T, then it's going to apply all of those actions automatically for me. Uh, let's say I want to um, have a, a button on my uh, on this as well that's going to allow me to run this macro automatically. I can select a button form. Okay, go ahead and put it right here. Uh, I'm going to select the macro that I want. I'll select the times uh, 12 font. Okay, and then I can change the description here. Um, and I'll call it, I'll do times 12. Okay, so here we have another. Um, let me just do some more text here, a number, and then if I select this button, it's going to run that macro. Okay, if you want to get in and maybe you did this long sequence and of, of uh, changes to a sheet and you recorded this macro, but maybe you want to change it without having to go back and redo this uh, recording thing, you can come into macros. Uh, there's a button there, Macros, and then you can click Edit. And this will show you the source code for that. 
So by doing the record, it essentially uh, recorded this program. Everything that you did, it generated computer code for you. So let's say I wanted to change the font size to 14 instead. I would just change that to 14 and click Save. Okay, now uh, when I save this, uh, one thing that um, you want to keep in mind is that you you should save it as a macro enabled workbook. Okay, that's XLSM um, instead of the default, which is XLSX. Uh, just do the SLXM uh, so that it uh, when somebody gets it, they know that um, macros are enabled. Macros are basically programs within Excel. You don't want to use macros from untrusted sources. Okay, so it, Microsoft has put in place a uh, you know this extra security measure so that it can't do bad things to your computer. Okay, so I'm going to uh, do this and then it went to size 14 instead of size 12 because I edited it in the source code uh, to change it from Times New Roman 12 to Times New Roman 14. Okay, that uh, concludes this uh, introductory example on uh, macros. Essentially, they're powerful methods to be able to um, do things within Excel that uh, maybe you need to automate um, over and over again and uh, macros and Visual Basic for application is a good way to do that.